Hello, here is uh, Dr. Zhang's infertility review course. I got this question all the time that our patient requests us to do the test for AMH and Mullerian hormones. I would like to take this moment to explain to you what is anti mullerian hormones and what this test is for and what might be the best alternative test. anti mullerian hormone produced by small follicles. These are small follicles. Uh, anti mullerian hormone produced by these small follicles. So the higher the anti mullerian hormone the more we have the antrophollicles. So antrophollicles can also can be visualized on the transventional ultrasound. See, if you see the follicle and you see the black dots, okay? So the more, the better. So actually doing transventional ultrasound to do the small follicle, we call the antrophollicle count. You get the same results as doing AMH, but this is more direct, more accurate. They don't really change with the, the day of menstrual cycle, so it's a very good test in estimation of ovarian reserve. So when the lady going through egg freezing cycles, we always want to do some estimation how many eggs we may obtain during each egg freezing cycle by counting these small follicles, so called antrophollicle count. Got it? Take care.